All right, so I I, I, I had it. I, well, I got another idea to talk about, so I'll put put it on part two for for this video. It's it's it's, it's going to be right after the part one. Uh, what I wanted to say is that you know this is something that I've heard um, people of many different backgrounds, and when I say backgrounds, I mean like businesses and 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 industries and whatnot. I've seen many different people when they're in a position, they always say because you know what, man, the truth is you'll always have somebody talking shit it's, it's just normal you know what i mean you could be in a in an amazing company and be ceo and when there's dinner talk and there's back talk it's like oh he doesn't deserve it why does he have it why does he have it? now typically if you're good at it you know there shouldn't be that many people talking that way but the thing is that what, what, what i'm trying to say is that you know typically what people in that uh, situation say is that i'm in this position for a reason you know it's like somebody being president of the united states and you say, well, he doesn't deserve to be president of the United States. He's not capable. He's stupid or whatever the case is. Now, I don't actually know anything about the president of the United States, by the way, or their politics. But I use it as an example. You can use it as an example of any. I mean, I don't know about any country, but let's say let's let's leave that leave it there. Typically, the response is always, well, I'm in this situation or I'm in this position for a reason. Now, the thing with the, my type of guy is that I don't like fake gifts. Oh, oh, here you go. You can have this seat. Oh, here you go. You can automatically have this position. Oh, you can be this person. No, I've never been able to do that in my life. You know, I just, I, I am unable to accept something that's not true, even if it looks like it's good for me. Oh, you'll get this big salary, but I don't deserve it, man. No. I mean, it's just like, I mean, what do you want me to say? Do you, do you know, you know, sometimes it's almost like people are like, a tr like, like seeking your insults, you know, seeking you to batter them, trying to aggravate you, trying to get you to say something, trying to, trying to bring you in. So you, you, you say something, say something about them or, or, or whatever the case is, you know, it's just, it's just, it's absolutely crazy. And I'm not going to restart my video all over again. But again, I'll continue with that. You know, when you're in a position, it's for a reason. I, I, I'm telling you, I've never been able to accept it. Oh, but you know what? You can do this. Um, you, you know, we'll, we'll let you be this position. No, I'm not, I'm not taking it because, you know, it's not, I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean? Anything I do, I have to earn. You know what I mean? They call it a track record. And in my track record, everybody knows that I've been genuine 100% since the day I was born. And everybody knows that I'm always genuine and, and I and I always, whenever somebody notices something on me, it's usually because I'm already doing it or I've done it. And then people see me and go, okay, you know, I noticed this about this guy. But people will always tell you that, dude, I'm in this position for a reason. Now, when you have somebody who's genuine and real and they're in that position and you start giving them shit, you know, the first thing they're going to say is you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... Like, you don't understand the boundaries. Some people go, oh, you know, sarcastically, the audacity, the audacity. It's like, you're an idiot, first of all, because you're okay with people, you know, doing certain things, you know, because you have a very low standard in life. You cannot understand my standard because you have a very low standard of yourself, of your life, and who you are. But I'm not going to share your pain, and I'm not going to share your misery. You know, whenever somebody's in a position, it's for a reason. Now, if I'm real and I'm genuine, you know it's not for a stupid reason. You know, there are people who get into a position simply because they were the perfect, you know, they were the perfect patsy. You know, um, you know what, man? 10 years ago, we had Ray, who was a horrible CEO. Five years later, we had Laura, who was a horrible CEO. And she did everything that we didn't want her to do. And she was all about her mission and doing things right or, or doing things that, that ethically according to her. And I'm not, I'm not siding with any of them, by the way. Today, we need a patsy. We need somebody who's going to do what we say, who's going to play by the rules and be good. Now, I'm not talking about certain organizations. I'm not talking about, like, I'm not literally talking about certain organizations out there. That's not what I mean. I mean, in general, you know, let's just, let's just get somebody who politically does not disagree with us, who does everything we tell them to. Let's get a patsy. Let's pay her 60% of what we were paying the last person. She'll take it. He'll take it. No problem. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a real genuine guy. I'd never act something unless that's me. You know what I mean? So I always ask for an action response. 
because I'm not always in your world. The thing is, I can deal with you when you come into my world. I don't deal with you in your world. That's something that's a responsibility of the people in your world. That responsibility is left to people in your world. And if in your shitty little world, you want to behave like that or act like that, good for you. Yeah, I mean, good for you. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, man. It's like, you know, do what you want in your shitty world. But, but even then, it's not okay. But listen, when you bring your little tentacles around my world, I, you know, I'm going to give it to you, you know. You know what I mean? I'm going to give it to you. So really understand, and I've told you before, but, but about, you know, like when you got a hawk like me, man, be careful how you're behaving. Be careful how you're acting. She's swimming with a shark right now, man. And I'm not a lone shark by, I'm not by any means whatsoever. You're dealing with somebody very serious. So show that respect and show that seriousness when you're speaking to me. I'm not, you know what I mean? And, and, and even when you're talking in your little shitty communities, I don't give a fuck about your communities, man. I don't give a fuck about you guys. So anyways, that's all I got to say.